So the opportunity to work with an international student um, accidentally came around, to be quite frank. We weren't necessarily looking for an export manager type role, which UN has ultimately ended up uh, becoming. We were merely looking for somebody to fill a maternity leave role for sales and marketing. Our sales into China um, five years ago were less than 1% of our entire business. Today, um, they account for 41% of our um, revenue stream and that's, you know, the business is virtually double the size it was um, five years ago. So it's a remarkable growth story and, you know, the vast majority of that work is down to the, to the great work that UN's done in the, in the China market. UN works incredibly hard. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen anybody work as, as hard as she does. I mean, particularly with the expectations of the Chinese market. Uh, with Richard, um, we are more likely to share, you know, the Chinese culture and what this culture means to our business, how we're going to apply to it in, in the business negotiations, in the dinners, in the, you know, tastings. Uh, which is really beneficial for us too. You know, we've had an intern in to um, help us recraft our Chinese distribution strategy. We've had a further intern to look at our Chinese e-commerce strategy. We've got a further intern starting this week to build our Chinese social media platforms and leverage those for sales. We've got plans for a further Chinese intern to assist us in building a Chinese language website hosted in China. I was really shocked when I got a job. I also really appreciate, you know, this company can give me opportunity to grow and grow the business as well. The impact on the business from both a financial perspective um, and a cultural perspective just can't be underestimated. I mean, the benefits of having in the business and, and engaging with China are incredible. All the international students, they have to open their mind when they come here. It's such a multicultural country. I have to say I love one better and I love drinking more too. <laughs> Initially we got a lot of uh, Chinese equipment to import one from Australia to China. That's how I started. We turned a lot of trade shows, uh, just get our brand uh, in the market and uh, let people try the one. I think that's the most effective way to uh, take the brand abroad. This is, you know, the very start, I think, of an engagement journey with China particularly, which has been initiated for the most part by, by UN. I mean, I've just come back from two weeks in India and the same opportunities that are currently being realised by the state in terms of wine exports to China. There's an absolute future there in India also, and we've got, again, a talent pool of, of Indian students back here who may allow us to unlock some opportunities in in India. So I think one of the challenges that most Australian businesses would have is to know where to go to actually access um, easily and quickly the pool of international students that we have spread across you know, a, a number of educational institutions. So I think having a, a one-stop shop portal where Adelaide and South Australian based employers can go to access that market, perfect.